A good Erev Shabbos. Hope you are doing well. You know, as a child, I would visit my grandfather. My grandfather in Kiryat Moshe, Yerushalayim. And at times, if I would complain to him or mention to him that I wasn't feeling well, uh, he would do the following. He would fill up a glass with some Lechaim, lift it and say uh, Lechaim and mention my name. And he would add the following. Shabbos hi melizoik. This is what he would do. That was the tradition. Now, uh, later on in life, I found the source for this practice. But I had a question, a very serious question on how Saba used to do it. The source for this statement is in the Talmud. The Talmud tells us the following, A person who enters into the house to visit someone who needs a Rav Shalema on Shabbos. And Shabbos is unique because we do not cry out in prayer on Shabbat. So the Talmud tells us he should say the following, Shabbat hi melizok, which means it's Shabbat, and we are prohibited to cry out. Okay, so we can't cry out, we can't lizok. But nevertheless, we turn to the Almighty and we say, Urefua krovalavo, that may the cure, right, come nevertheless, may the Almighty nevertheless bring some kind of cure to the Chola. Because you want to know a little bit about the Almighty. Verachamav merubin, God Almighty is full of compassion. And then the Talmud adds, Veshipsu b'shalom. Now you should rest on this Shabbos in a peaceful way. Veshiptu. You should rest in a peaceful way. Now the question I had is that the way Saba used to say it was not veshiptu b'shalom, which means rest on this Shabbos in a peaceful way, but rather veshabato shalom, that your Shabbos is peace. In other words, Saba seemed to have a different tradition how to read the Talmud, and it bothered me for many years. Until I found the source for the way Saba understood it. Uh, there was a great rabbi, Rabbi Yosha Fal Cohen, towards the end of the 16th, beginning of the 17th century, author of the work, the Prisha on the tour. And he read it like, Shab- like Saba. V'shabato shalom. And the way he explained it is the following. Schut shabato. The merit of making Shabbos yours. Right of understanding what Shabbat is about, understanding what benefit it gives us when we recognize that Shabbat tells us that there is a Creator and everything that takes place is due to the fact that the Creator wants it to occur. Schut Shabbato Yigrom Lo HaShalom That brings us peace. So therefore, the way the Prisha and Saba understood the statement of the Talmud we turn to the Almighty and we say, Veshabato, if He makes Shabbos His own, you make it yours. What does it mean to make Shabbos yours? That you understand that it is something that talks to you, that teaches you, that inspires you. If you do that, then indeed you merit the Shalom. It will bring internal peace and put an end to the turmoil. During these most challenging times, we need a good Shabbos. A good Shabbos is a Shabbos where we sit down, we reflect, we disconnect from the WhatsApp, We disconnect from the internet, right? We may not know the latest unless we really have to for medical reasons, but we don't know the latest. And we can turn to the Almighty and say, you know what? Terrible things are taking place. We indeed daven that the Rachamov, the one that has so much mercy, should let this mercy have an impact on the world. But we believe that you, HaKadosh Baruch Hu, are in charge. And by being mindful of that, by making Shabbos ours, we should merit indeed a lot of shalom. That's what we're davening for. For the time being, we'll continue davening. We should hear good news, but please take care of yourselves. It should be a good Shabbos, a meaningful one, and hopefully you should hear only good news. Shabbat shalom umevorach.